Hey everyone, it's Sevi, and I'm back with another build video for Liyue's favorite and extremely talkative lawyer, Yan Fei. When Yan Fei first came out, she was mostly labeled as Pyro Ningguang or Budget Klee, but I think she has come to shine as her own character, especially with her adorable personality, animations, and surprising damage potential. We'll take a look at her talents, passives, team roles, gameplay tips, and best builds. There's quite a bit to go through, so let's just dive in. First of all, we need to examine how Yan Fei's kit works. Her playstyle is geared towards being a main DPS since in order to deal damage, she demands field time. She doesn't particularly have any support capabilities aside from generating a relatively good shield at C4 and providing pyro resonance. So as a DPS, her talents are geared towards buffing her charged attacks by generating what is called Scarlet Seal stacks. Every time a normal attack hits an opponent, Yan Fei will generate a Scarlet Seal. You'll see these float around her and accumulate. At C0, she can generate a maximum of 3 seals. Each seal reduces the stamina her charged attack consumes by 15%, as we can see here, and on her first passive talent, they give extra 5% pyro damage bonus each. Once you use Yanfei's charged attacks, all her Scarlet Seals will be consumed and you'll have to rebuild them from zero stacks. When she performs the charged attack, a number will appear on her indicating how many seals were consumed. On C0, this number will range from 0 to 3. If you look at her charged attack scaling, there are five different numbers. The first shows her charged attack scaling on zero seals and the last is on four seals which you can get from her C6, but we'll get back to that later. Also, the size of her charged attack stamp will grow the more seals she consumes. Yanfei also gets Scarlet Seals from her skill, which gives you maximum seals right away if it hits an enemy. Now, when Yanfei casts her Elemental Burst, she's given maximum seals right away alongside a charged attack damage bonus, but she also gains a buff called Brilliance, which will continuously regenerate a new Scarlet Seal every second. This means that you can spam her charge attacks more often since she doesn't need to build seals with her normals. Keep in mind that in all cases, the seals will disappear and her brilliance state will end if Yanfei switches out. You can see that Yanfei revolves around dealing pyro damage with charged attacks. Even her last passive deals an extra hit of pyro damage if her charged attack crits and that's counted as charged attack damage too. It's a simple but focused kit. It's also easier to work with Yanfei's attack rotation since her animations are much smoother than both Ningguang's and Klee's. I don't find the need to walk cancel or jump cancel her animations at all. Clearly the product of animation and gameplay design improvements. So as a pyro DPS, it's natural to anticipate running reactions with Yan Fei. Before we get into attack strings and rotations, let's quickly examine her ICD. With her normal attacks, Yan Fei has the typical ICD of triggering a pyro reaction once every 3 hits. Her charged attacks, however, don't have an ICD. You can spam them and trigger a pyro reaction each time. Yanfei's skill and burst act as different pyro sources, so you can also trigger pyro reactions with either of them consecutively. So in most cases, Yanfei's best attack rotation would be N2, C1 while inserting her skill and burst when they're ready. Why not build full seals with N3, C1? Well, similar to Ningguang, inserting Yanfei's charge attack a bit more often will output more damage, especially since her third attack animation is a bit slow, but it's still perfectly usable. On her burst with a brilliance effect, you can afford N1C1 since she gets seals on her own. Now let's go through Yan Fei's weaknesses. The first is something you might have noticed after discussing her charged attacks. Yan Fei requires stamina management. Though parts of her kit and constellations will reduce her charged attack stamina consumption, you will still consume a lot when spamming charged attacks. So keep that in mind if you're a dasher instead of a jumper. Second is that Yanfei's charge attack can accidentally get interrupted, whether by you or by enemies. If you dash or jump or get hit before her stamp descends, it will cancel the attack. These stamina and interruption issues personally encourage me to keep her in a shield. Lastly, Yanfei has energy problems. Her only innate source of energy is her skill, which gives 3 pyro particles. Her charged attack doesn't generate particles and neither does her burst, and her burst costs 80 energy. Yanfei needs a battery so that you can better allocate your artifact stats to damage boosters. Giving her an energy recharge stance would result in a significant damage loss. 
So now that we've explored Yanfei's talents, passives, and rotations, let's check out her constellations. C1 is a really good constellation. Without it, her Scarlet Seals only reduce the stamina cost of charge attacks by 15% per seal, but with C1, that becomes 25%. Her charged attack costs 50 stamina. At C0, with 3 seals used, it becomes 27.5 stamina. At C1, with 3 seals used, it becomes 12.5 stamina. That's a very useful quality of life upgrade, and if you get her at C6, you can technically reduce the stamina cost up to 100%. C1 is her best constellation and a must have for Yanfei mains. C2 is very simple, it just increases charged attack crit rate against enemies with low HP which also enables more procs of her blazing eye. Nice to help give her a damage boost in longer battles, especially boss fights. C3 just boosts her elemental skill talent levels to increase damage, a bit meh. C4 is an interesting constellation. By letting her have a shield when she uses her burst, it allows Yanfei to become more self-sustaining as a main DPS and gives some support utility to your team. Plus, those HP rolls won't be so copium on her anymore. C5 boosts her burst level, pretty good to maximize your charge attack damage bonus. And C6 just unlocks her highest damage ceiling. By giving her 4 Scarlet Seals maximum, her charged attack can get the highest damage multiplier bonus. It also synergizes with her C1, so that 4 stacks will make your charged attack cost nothing, and with her passive talent Proviso to increase your pyro damage bonus, which means more damage overall. So, how to build Yan Fei? Let's start with her artifacts. You mostly want artifacts that boost her charged attack damage, pyro damage, reaction potential, and crit stats. In early AR, energy recharge sets are helpful too. Starting with early AR sets, her best in slot would be the 4-piece martial artist since they buff her normal and charged attacks in both the 2-piece and 4-piece bonus. 4-piece resolution of Sojourner increases attack and charged attack crit rate. Berserker also helps with her crit rate overall. For energy recharge sets, you have Scholar's Lens and The Exile, and for a high reaction team, you can use Instructors. For late game artifacts, which should you choose? It depends on the team comp. 4-piece Crimson Witch will be the best in a reaction comp. That 15% vape melt bonus is pretty juicy, and the 15% pyro damage bonus can benefit her entire kit. Yanfei can also proc the stacks of the 4-piece bonus if you use her elemental skill immediately on its 9-second cooldown before the stack's 10-second cooldown expires. Since the stack cooldown resets when you get a new stack, she is capable of getting all 3 stacks after 18 seconds. 4-piece Wanderer's Troop, on the other hand, is a solid and flexible set in any situation since it buffs her charged attack even more and offers an extra AD EM. This is personally what I use since I switch Yanfei's teams a lot. It's a bit painful to deliberately farm, but if you've accumulated enough Wanderer's pieces over time, you can give them to Yanfei. 2-piece Crimson, 2-piece Glad Shimanawa is still very viable for her, so if you have stellar substats on them, I would say just stick with that. 4-piece Retracing Bolide is very useful in a shield comp, whether that's Yanfei on C4 or a double Geo team. With Toma coming out, Bolide could become even more viable for her. 4-piece Lava Walker is great for mono pyro teams and if the Crimson Witch domain decides to give you that instead. Then there's 4-piece Shimanawa, which adds a 50% damage bonus to her normal and charged attacks at the cost of 15 energy. So I want to say this is a viable build with her since it hugely buffs her auto attack rotation, it's just that it's quite energy expensive. It can be pretty hard to pull off since Yanfei has energy problems already, but it's technically an option even though I wouldn't personally use it. Although Yanfei's burst adds to her charge attack damage, 4-piece emblem is not a good build for her since the emblem only increases the initial damage that Yanfei's burst does. For main stats, the most reliable will be your regular crit circlet, pyro damage goblet, and an attack sans. Aim for 50 to 100 crit ratio as always. There's a slight debate whether an EM sans would be better on Yanfei. My advice is, if you are already running a 4-piece Crimson or Wanderers, extra EM from substats will be enough. But if you have an EM Sans with a really good attack percent substat, you could try it out. 
Ideally, your Yanfei would want at least a 1500 attack stat, and if your EM Sans doesn't deliver that, you might be better off still with an attack Sans. It also depends on your weapon stats. If the weapon has an attack percent substat, then an EM Sans might be safer and vice versa, but of course the artifact substats might still be the deciding factor. For substats, you of course want crit rate and damage, attack percent, EM, and a decent amount of ER, say 120 to 140%. Although her burst cost is 80 and you can allocate more ER to get that burst up ASAP, which is achievable with an ER Sans, I personally think that the damage loss isn't worth it compared to using an attack or EM Sans instead. Now for weapons. For early AR players, the 3 star emerald orb is a good choice. If you were able to get Dodoko Tails, it's the best free-to-play choice for Yanfei in utility and fashion. Otherwise, Mappa Merit fares well. You can use a prototype Ember for the energy refund and team healing, and there's also the Black Cliff from the Star Glitter Shop. Her best gotcha weapon is the Widsith thanks to the crit substat and all the possible passives benefit her. Sacrificial Fragments is also another option, however, to take the most advantage of it, you do want Yanfei to be triggering reactions as often as possible. At least on high refinements, you'll be able to get more energy from proccing her skill twice in a row. If you're on Battle Pass, Yanfei works well with the Solar Pearl too. For 5-star weapons, you can't go wrong with Memory of Dust, Lost Prayers, and Skyward Atlas. Memory of Dust is best used in a shielder comp, of course. Lost Prayers has the benefit of fixing your crit stats, but it does require some stacking time to get that full elemental damage bonus. Skyward Atlas is personally my top recommendation because it's more consistent, has a high base attack and fairly good attack percent substat, and a nice passive. Since she also gets a lot of pyro damage bonus and other added damage multipliers, having a high attack stat will help balance it all out and avoid problems with diminishing returns. This is more important if you don't run her with Bennett or Sara. Now how about team comps? Being a pyro unit, Yanfei has a lot of potential teams. In general, having an animal unit accompany her in any comp is a good idea. For a vape comp, you absolutely want her with Xingqiu. Unfortunately, vaping with Kokomi's jellyfish is not consistent. Having an EM booster like Sucrose or Albedo is great for this comp. A melt comp with Rosaria, Ganyu, and Ayaka's burst are also viable. Yanfei also works really well in Diona's Ice Field. Chi-Chi's skill and Kaya's burst are potential choices too, but you'd have to place Yanfei closer to the enemies. Putting Yanfei in a double cryo comp would help maintain more cryo application and benefit Yanfei's crit rate through cryo resonance. For a mono pyro comp, aside from Bennett, you can use Shang Ling, or hopefully, when he releases, Toma. You should also include an animal unit to reduce pyro resistance. Overload comps are generally doable with Yanfei because she has a good range, so there's Beidou, Fischl, and now Electro Traveler and Raiden who could help battery Yanfei. Then, I personally love double geo double pyro comps with Yanfei. Pairing her with Bennett and any other two geo units is great for 100% shield uptime. And that's going to be it for this updated Yanfei guide video everyone. What other comps and builds do you like running with Yanfei? As always, feel free to let me know in the comments. I personally really like Yanfei, she's adorable and talkative and relatively simple to use, and she gives legal advice which I'm not gonna turn down. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell button. I will see you soon. Take care!